Hello everyone, this is Kingcon IoT. Last video, we have used Kingcon Smart Home application to turn on and turn off the light. Uh, this application uses our cloud server and need the internet. And in this video, I will tell you how to use Kbox application that without the internet, you can control the lamps in your local LAN. So let's begin how to do this. At the first, you can See this guide, user guide. We can use mobile phone to scan QR code to download this yellow QR code. This is Kbox. So you can download the APK file, uh, but my mobile phone have already installed. So we can just uh, use it directly. So we can open the Kbox. Uh, the first time, we need to know the network port. Uh, we need to use Wi-Fi because our Ethernet have connect to our cloud server. So we use Wi-Fi to connect with the Kbox. We use Wi-Fi in your local network. We open the Kbox and add the device and input the IP. and the part, and choose the model. This is 32 channel, and press OK. Now you can see this list, 32, believe switch, and we can press turn on, and turn on light one and turn on light two. And also we can turn off light two, and turn off light one. And this is work in local land. We can have an experiment. We open this red is King Kong Smart Home. And this yellow is a uh, key box. We open the King Kong Smart Home. We can turn on and turn off. Now we remove the network if your internet is broken. This network part this network cable is removed. So we can use this. This will not can't can control the lamp again. So we just we can use the key box. The key box you can turn on and turn off. It's work also well. So the internet, if it is broken, you can use the Kbox in your local home. I have just set the TCP server for the Kbox uh, by the Wi-Fi wi -Fi version. Uh, so you can set the Kbox uh, to the internet or to the Wi-Fi just according to you. You can exchange such as Wi-Fi for Kbox, internet for King Kong Smart Home, or King Kong Smart Home for Wi-Fi and the internet for the Kbox just as you decide. This is how to use the Kbox. Uh, thanks for watching.